hello everyone welcome to my channel uh, this is Raz in this video I'm going to explain how to carry out data analysis using PSPP so PSPP is a free software so it's a uh, window is similar to SPSS so those who are familiar with the SPSS can easily do the data analysis using PSPP and you don't have to pay any money okay so here is the outline that I'll be dealing today okay so first of all I'll be uh, showing how to open SPSS files in PSPP then I'll be showing how to import data from Microsoft Excel and then also how to create the frequency tables how to do cross tabulations and guy squad test how to um, show or how to plot the histograms and similarly how to perform the independent sample t-test and also how to export these output in other uh, programs such as Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel to generate the reports okay so first of all uh, in order to use PSPP you have to install this software so to install this software you have to go to uh, Google and then in Google you just type PSPP and then you can see the website on the top okay so you can go to download section and then within that you choose the desired operating system so mine is Windows so I choose the Windows installer and then you can choose the desired uh, version okay so mine is 64 bit version so I click on this one and then after that the setup file will be downloaded okay so when you download the software here you can install this software this is very small size okay this is 42 MB and doesn't take more than a minute to install this software okay so after you install this software uh, so the icon will be created here so when you open that you can see that okay the window is similar to SPSS you can see data view and variable view and on the top you can see the most commonly used analysis so first of all let's try opening the SPSS file so go to file and then click on open so this accident dot sav is the spss file which was uh, in the installation directory when we installed spss okay so when you click on this file and when you click on open you can see that the spss file is directly opened okay you can see the value labels the variable names the labels and also in the data view you can see the data so spss files are directly supported by PSPP so next thing that we'll be doing is uh, importing data from Microsoft Excel so to import data from Microsoft Excel first of all let's have a data set okay so this is a trial data set uh, which was entered in um, Microsoft Excel so with some variables such as serial number age and and smoking so to open this data set in Microsoft uh, sorry in PSPP what you have to do is you have to save this file as CSV file okay so CSV files are comma separated value files so you go to file and then click on save as and then select this CSV comma delimited okay from this drop down so from this drop down you select CSV and then click on save so I have already saved this file as CSV file okay so just I'm going to close this file first so you have to close this file to open this in uh, PSPP so let me close this one now you just open PSPP so so this was the spaces file now we are going to import the Excel file okay so you go to file and you click on import data okay don't click on other menu just click on import data because you are importing from another software so import data so here choose all files okay and on on the bottom you can see reset next and cancel so what you have to do is go to the desired location so here is trial data set okay so trial data set dot csv and then click next okay click next so when you click here you can see a window in which uh, it says select the lines to import so we are importing all the cases so click on next and here it says select the first line so the first line of the data is this one because the, the line above that are the variables okay so the data starts from here and on the bottom you can see this option line above the selected line contains the variable names 
so click on this one don't forget to tick mark this one okay so when you tick this one then these variable names will be imported to spaces and then click on next and here it asks you the separator is comma because you saved a csv file so csv files are comma separated values so here you can see the preview so serial number age gender and smoking click on next so you can see the preview again so you can adjust the variable format here so age is numeric gender is a string smoking is a string so everything looks perfect and the data preview also looks perfect so what you have to do is now you have to click apply here you go the data is imported from Microsoft Excel now the next step is as we discussed creating the frequency tables so what you have to do is now you have to go to this data set so this is the trial data set now to calculate frequency table you have to go to analyze and then descriptive statistics and then frequency so we calculate the frequency for uh, the categorical variable so here you can calculate the frequency for gender as well as for smoking so let's calculate the frequency for gender and then you can turn this off mean standard deviation minimum and maximum so they are ticked by default but for gender we don't need this kind of parameters because they are for the numeric variables okay so when you click on gender and click on okay now you can go to the output okay you can see the output here so the output is generated okay male 42 percent sorry female 42 percent male this much okay so you can see the similar kind of table as uh, generated in um, SPSS so some other lines are there so th these are not showing here these are showing uh, hidden but if you run the analysis uh, it will be so okay so now the next thing that we can practice is doing the cross tabulation and chi-square test so to do that again go to the data set go to analyze go to descriptive statistics go to cross tabs now let's calculate the cross tabulation between gender and smoking you can move one variable in the row and another variable in the column go to statistic and this chi-square is checked by default so it will calculate the chi-square test okay so gender and smoking and then click on okay now if you go to output you can see that okay you can see the frequency sorry the cross tabulation between gender and smoking is calculated and also the chi-square value so you can see the chi-square value the degree of freedom and the p-value okay so it also calculates the future exact test for uh, for that particular um, cross tabulation because the sample size is small so it's just one click okay and it's similar to uh, SPSS similarly to calculate the histograms so to show the histograms or to display the histograms what you can do is go to analyze sorry go to um, I think it's on graph yeah it's on graph so go to graph and click on histogram so you know that the histogram is uh, calculated or histogram is plotted for the numeric variable so let's take this age so if you want to display the normal curve you can select this one and then click on ok now you can see the histogram is created ok so it's quite easy ok so if you want to perform the independent sample t-test again it's pretty simple again you can go to that data set go to analyze go to compare mean and then click on independent sample t-test so the test variable you know that independent sample t-test is used to compare the mean across two groups so if you're talking about comparing the mean then the outcome variable or the dependent variable should be numeric so a is here is the numeric variable and then let's uh, calculate the mean is across males and females so let's take this gender in the grouping variable so when you take that gender in the grouping variable it asks you to define the groups so group 1 value is m group 2 value is f because you enter gender as male and female here 
so click on continue okay and then click on okay now when you go to output you can see the mean values compared of the males and females with the standard deviation and also the standard error of the mean and also you can see the uh, independent sample t test value okay the the level of significance okay the mean difference the standard error of difference and the conference interval so everything is possible guys okay so now if you want to perform similar analysis so you can use the different commands over here same same like SPSS and now let's uh, let's say we want to export the output to generate the reports so the output are of two types usually so one is uh, the table and another is graph so first of all let's learn how to export the tables okay so to export the tables what you have to do is so we'll export the graph in the next phase so first of all let's export the tables okay these tables so what you have to do is go to file okay and go to export and here so infer file type from extension select this comma separated value okay csv so select this csv let's move it. okay let me move this a little bit up okay so that will be easy for you to um, let's move this a uh, little bit upward here okay here you see now comma separated value csv so now let's export the output to let's say pictures okay um, or let's say video give the file name so it's tables PSVP and then click on save okay so here don't forget to select CSV okay if you want to export as tables otherwise the tables will be distorted and click on save now when you go to the video where you save this one so here is tables PSPP when you open that you can see that all those tables are showing up here the cross tabulation for smoking and gender similarly the frequency tables of uh, these male and females and also the chi-square values and also the values for independent sample t-test okay so all those analysis can be imported to Excel again so from here you can draw the chart graphs and also you can take these tables to make sure where similarly if you want to export the graph so let's say you want to export the graph this histogram so what you have to do is now you go to file click on export okay from here again what you have to do is you can select either PDF okay you can select PDF or HTML Okay, let's select HTML. Okay, you can save this in desired location. Let's say you want to save in videos, and then here graphs. Click on save. So that output will be saved as the HTML file here. You can see the output is saved as the HTML file. Now the graph is showing here. You can see the PNG file for the graph. Okay, so when you can see here the graph okay when you click there the PNG file so you can see the graph here so you can save this uh, or you can just crop this whatever you want to do okay so it's quite easy guys so now you can you can crop this one using the snipping tool here okay sorry it's not selected okay here you go you see so now you can copy this in Microsoft Word so I'm using 2019 version so the latest version of Microsoft Word so it's taking some time to open because I have been using so many add-ons okay So when you open, type something, um, histogram, and then paste it here. Okay, you can see. 
so you can adjust the size of this uh, graph so it's uh, really cool uh, PSPP uh, is a free software you don't need to pay for this software and also it performs uh, most of the statistical calculations as uh, done by SPSS and it's very small in size okay um, it's really useful I've been using this software for over a year now and uh, I think you will also love it so try installing the software it doesn't take much of your disk space um, it's really cool uh, give it a try and also if you liked it um, please uh, share it with your colleagues and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet subscribed and also uh, look forward to um, seeing you in the next tutorial guys thank you very much bye bye cheers